I was sitting in my studio and choosing what to bring in my camera bag because I'm sick and tired of carrying a bag with a lot of stuff that I never use. And in this video I will show you my top 10 camera accessories. First thing first, I need something to carry my accessories in and my go-to camera bag is the Gomatic Peter McKinnon 25 liter everyday camera bag. Yes, it's called Gomatic in Europe. I've had a couple of camera bags and I can say, hands down, this is my favorite by far. It's built almost perfect, the padding on the shoulders are really good and the possibility to build it the way you like it with small or large cases and everything. In my opinion, that's one of the best things about it. I've chosen to use two small cages in my everyday carrying. The one on the inside is for my lenses because if I'm changing lenses, I can also use the time to open the back of the camera bag. And inside the loft I am also carrying a small case and that's for my main camera. I can actually put it in there with the microphone and the lens attached. And inside here I'm also carrying the things that I need more often like batteries and other things that I will show you a bit later in the video. And the next thing on the list is of course a tripod, you can't go without it. I've chosen the Peak Design Travel Tripod in carbon because of the lightweight, the ease of use and the features are good. It's easy to set up, it's easy to attach your camera to it because of the quick release system. I've actually forgotten to lock the camera a couple of times, but luckily for me, my camera hasn't dropped yet. It's also possible to have a top-down shot if you just flip it around. And when it's packed down, it's like a bottle on the side of my backpack. I am also carrying a small tripod every time I'm out shooting, and that is the PGI Tech Mantis Pod Pro. The reason for me using this is because of the ease of use again. It has a really easy quick release system. You can just attach your camera here and flip it over and it's locked. You can turn the camera around in many angles. You can set it up wherever you want to. You can hang it on the wall if you're using the Mantis mode. And you can also use it for your phone with the attachment part that comes along with the tripod. The only downside with this tripod is that it's not too sturdy everywhere you put it, so sometimes I really miss my gorilla pod. One of the things that I can't go without is my blower. I am using a rocket blower to clean my lens from time to time. That said, I'm blowing my lens every time I'm changing it, and I'm blowing the sensor of my camera, and I'm blowing the front of the lens almost every time I will start to shoot. If you have seen my latest vlogs, you can see that I'm actually blowing the lens in the middle of it because I forgot it and there was a couple of dust spots on my lens. I really hate when there's dust on the lens and that's why I'm always keeping the blower in my backpack. Link to all the products I'm talking about in the description down below. No, I'm not sponsored. Yes, it's affiliate links. But sometimes there's more than dust on your lens and that's why you need to bring a microfiber cloth. You need to be able to clean your lens every now and then and maybe you need to clean your screen as well. I'm always carrying a microfiber cloth in my backpack because you never know when you need it. Suddenly you touch your finger on your lens and you need more than a blower to get it cleaned. The one I'm currently using is from the Tamron 17-300 lens. It was in the box when I bought it. All right, this is a good one. Every now and then when you're out shooting videos or photos, you need to put your camera away. Where do you put it? On the ground, into your backpack. I like to put it in the clip. I'm using the one called Peak Design Capture Camera Clip version three. Every time I'm attaching my camera to the clip, I'm really happy that I got it because you don't believe it before you have tried it. When you're carrying a camera around for a very long time, you are getting really tired in your arm. And it's really nice to just click, click it on there. I would really recommend getting a camera clip to attach on your camera bag if you don't got it already. I will always carry an ND filter. The one I'm using is the variable ND filter from Polar Pro Peter McKinnon Mist 2 edition. It's the 2 to 5 stop. This is good because it doesn't have the X when shooting in 17mm, that's the widest I'm shooting. They guarantee shooting down to 16mm without vignetting or Xing. And it's easy to feel where you are because of the clicks. 
They call it the haptic feedback mechanism. It comes with this great carrying case, which is also a lens cap when you have attached the ND filter to your lens. If you don't know what ND filter is, it's a neutral density filter. It's It works like sunglasses on your lens. If you want to shoot in a low f-stop, you can use ND filter to keep your f-stop as low as possible and still don't get blown out pictures. Sometimes when I'm out shooting, I am leaving my camera bag in the car. And that's why I am always carrying an extra. Cause when I'm leaving my backpack in the car, you shouldn't leave it in the car, but when I do, I need something to carry my camera with so I can relax in my hand as we talked about earlier in this video. The one I'm using is the best one out there in my opinion and it's the Peak Design Camera Slide. The reason why I'm using Peak Design's camera slide is because the quick release system, you can attach it to your camera. I can attach it to whatever camera I'm carrying because I have these quick release, what you call it, bugs, plugs, whatever, attached to my cameras. And it's wide enough so it don't feels like it's cutting my neck when I'm carrying it. And you can open it to slide it longer or shorter. So it's really easy to use, it's easy to carry and it will always be in my backpack. And the next thing is also from Peak Design, but it's not a neck strap, it is a wrist strap. This one is very easy to just carry around your wrist because of the magnetic holder. Now it's not wiggling around because it's a magnet that's holding this clip on here. So when I'm not using it, it's just hanging there, like a wristband. When I want to attach it to my camera, I just I'm using the wrist strap whenever I'm out walking on the streets and there's a risk of people coming to steal my camera. Now they can't just take it, they have to cut this as well. And if you're out shooting some places or wherever you are, you don't want to lose your camera. If I'm carrying it in this strap, it won't fall to the ground. I will have this tight and secure on my wrist. Just hold on to your camera, that's, that's the best. I almost want to say that I'm saving the best for the last, because this one you don't want to miss. Bongo ties, or cable ties, or whatever ties. This is one of the greatest and cheapest thing you can have in your backpack. I'm using a bongo tie somewhere every day of my life, I'm sure about it, because these are laying around in my car, in my house, in my backpack, in my studio, and wherever I'm going, <laughs> I can find bongo ties. I'm using it on my camera bag as a holder for my mantis pod when I'm having that on the side of the camera bag. I use it to tie up cables, to hold something up, or whatever. You can use this to... to if there's anywhere you want to use mounting tape, but you don't want to use mounting tape because you can destroy whatever you want to use mounting tape on. You, you have... These are adjustable, you can... This is a really underrated accessory that everyone should have in their camera bag. And the beauty of this is that it's cheap. It's not expensive at all. Well, that was 10 must-have accessories for me. If there's anything you think I missed in this video, something that you can go without in your camera bag, please let me know in the comments down below, because I don't want to miss a thing. I hope this video was a bit helpful for you. If it was, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can check out this video or this video. Or you can hit this button and subscribe to my channel. I would highly appreciate it. Alright, thank you so much for watching my video. Until next time, have a good one.